Hello people, welcome back to the Last Shot Podcast with me, All Things Wrestling, and Stefan. Apparently I'm the negative one right here and you're the positive <laughs> one, right? <laughs> Apparently. Uh, well, welcome hey. to the Last Shot Podcast. We have well, lots to discuss today. First off, we'll go through the ratings of the four weekly shows that we cover on this podcast, Raw, NXT, AEW, and SmackDown. Before we say anything else, I just want to say, like, whatever I say, it's my opinion, but also I'm being very realistic. If you can accept reality, hey, it's up to you. You can have your opinion, but don't push that opinion down someone's throat and look like a fool because... Uh, but yeah, I appreciate everyone's opinion. Just don't say something stupid that doesn't make sense because, hey, it's business, it's wrestling, and we're here to talk wrestling. Yeah. All right, let's start with the raw ratings. Uh, we have a drop again. Uh, what did I say? <laughs> Of course, there's gonna be a drop, bro. How? What? What's the drop? Tell me. How? Uh, how it went from two point five million to two point three million, so it dropped two hundred thousand people. Mm. Why don't you mention SmackDown? Because you were claiming that SmackDown is gonna stay or be similar. Well, they lost one million. <laughs> so we'll right? cover that in a minute. We need to talk about Monday Night Raw. Uh, great show. The it greatest show wasn't a week. bad show. It wasn't a great show, but it, <sighs> it wasn't was a bad, bad show this week. It was. <laughs> okay. It was fairly average. Your opinion sucks, dude. <laughs> Your opinion Your sucks. Opinion. Your opinion sucks. <laughs> okay. Okay, people, don't take it seriously. We are joking a lot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Let's start with you, bro. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed. I enjoyed Monday Night Raw. I thought it was all right. I mean, it was nowhere near the worst show of the week. Some okay, entertaining let's matches shows. and stuff. I'm gonna go with. Four out of ten. Uh, I think I went like five or five point five, something like that, on it. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, that's our opinion for Raw. I don't know what else do you want me to say about Raw because there it was much to say that. about Raw at this point. Yeah, it was nothing great. Yeah. Uh, then let's move on to what everybody wants to know: the AEW and NXT numbers. We'll start with NXT. Dropped yeah. another one hundred thousand viewers Ooh. to land at seven hundred ninety thousand viewers. Man, I I told you this before we started recording, um, and I'll tell that, I'll tell this right now to people. Like, no matter if NXT stays in full sale or goes out, they're fucked at this point because Vince is going to kill his own brand. He, he's killing it kill already. It. Yeah, to try to kill competition. And he's going to kill NXT. It's plain and simple, dude. Yeah. This show, for this week's NXT, has got to be one of the worst NXTs I've ever watched. Yeah. But sadly, Uh, it's still not the worst show of the week. I just want to say, like, if, you know, if they stay in full show, Arena is piece of shit. It's basically, I understand it's great energy and everything, but dude, it's still, you can have the same crowd for so many years. And if they go out to full sale, uh, they're also fucked because they will not sell they, out buildings. They, listen, they may not, they probably won't sell out. Oh, they won't rings. sell out. None and of the takeovers if, ever sell out. And, they're in- and do you know what happens if they don't sell out five, six, uh, six thousand people? Vince is going to take over. Not He doesn't need to take over. He needs to can have his fingerprints over it and have main roster guys go to NXT because right now we have a brand split that's Raw and SmackDown so uh, a person can go from Raw to SmackDown and kind of stuff but maybe they can go to NXT like Vince doesn't care he's gonna kill NXT and it's really unfortunate because that was the best brand yeah uh, and I'm betting you if you ask Triple H like Paul if you wanna compete with AEW he would say no to you because he doesn't want to compete with AEW. He knows that he can't compete with AEW. It was Vince's decision for NXT to be live. Yep. Which, by at this point, has been one of the worst decisions at this moment in time. Yeah. Whether it, was... it improves in the future, we'll have to wait and see. But I think the worst disappointment for this week's NXT 
was that cruiserweight title match. Because Leo Rush two weeks ago had an, a fire match against Only Larkin. That match was amazing, and then the screw light match was kind of okay. Massive step down in quality compared to his Only Larkin match. I don't know what what it is with NXT, but you know what. You know, you know what to expect. Every show is the same show. This wasn't special NXT show. This was just a regular NXT weekly show. So the problem is the weekly shows are not feeling that good anymore. Whereas no. a, a year ago they were a weekly show was pretty good. I mean, it's just uh, NXT. But let's move on to AEW. Mm-hmm. They drew 1.1 million viewers, which is a couple hundred thousand drop from last week, which I wasn't expecting them to stay at 1.4 million, but still a very respectable number. And to be fair, it was a good show. Yeah, if me and you didn't need to give our opinions, I think you can agree with me on this. We wouldn't care about the ratings at all. No. But we need to give our opinion. So we need to say what we think. And it's really unfortunate that NXT is in that place, you know. And AW just the second week in a row, dude. They smashed NXT again. I will also like to mention at this point, these ratings are only for the US channels. Yeah. Because obviously AW airs in, Amer- in England on Fight TV... So their number could be significantly higher than 1.1 million for this week. Because we're not including the Fight TV number in there, for example. Whereas NXT only airs on the USA Network. Exactly. So exactly. AEW's already got a much bigger margin. And first off, what rating would you give NXT? 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10. Uh, 4.5 out of 10. Uh, I don't think it was better than Raw, but... I, I think it was better than Raw, Jesus. But, uh, I, I no. think Raw was better than NXT. Uh, just our opinions. And uh, listen, if you, people, if you don't agree, you can have your opinion. But Yeah, we'd like to hear your yeah. ratings. But let's move on to the most shocking of numbers for this week. Friday Night Smackdown dropped one million viewers. I was right about this. You can't say I was wrong, because... I know some people are telling me, oh, don't be negative. <laughs> I'm going to cry because you're negative. Dude, I was real. I said what I said. I knew what I'm talking about. You said that SmackDown is going to have around 3.5 or something like that. Or around 3. They fell quickly down, dude. This is bad. And it's just a matter of time before Fox can- tells him, you got to step up your game, man. Like... Yeah, because obviously you know? Fox will back out of this contract if it does not satisfy them. Yeah, and by the way, I, I don't like I said, I'm I'm just joking around. I'm not, I'm not saying anything against your opinion that you had last week, but like I said, dude, if we didn't need to report, if we wouldn't report, you know, we wouldn't report viewership if we didn't do a podcast. So exactly. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say, what would your AEW rating for this week be? Oh, uh, eight eight point five out of ten, dude. Damn, really you did show. you did a lot more than me. I only said seven point five. Then again, I think looking back on it, I probably was a bit low with that rating. I'm going to change it to an eight out of ten. Yeah, hey, that show had everything from yeah. start to finish. Even some slower moments, but you need to calm crowd down at some points. Exactly. Uh, Jericho but... burying WWE creative was a very nice thing. Great. It was awesome. It was. Um, Darby Allen did amazing work. He's actually starting to win me over. I didn't think I'll get behind this guy. He is great. I like him. He uh, started to get me over on him. I, like the ta- I think the women's tag match is probably the weakest part of Yeah, the but show. like I said, you need to calm crowd down at some point. You I just, just think the match was a bit sloppy. Show. Especially with that uh, older Japanese woman. I think she was really not good. <sighs> I don't know, but the fact of the matter is, at the end of the day, 
the reason that match happened is to tell a story, and the story between Bell Priestley and Britt Baker is gonna continue. Meanwhile, in the WWE, you have random matches that doesn't have anything to do, to do with any story. So exactly. who wins again? AEW. I don't think we've. I don't think we've really had many uh, AEW matches that haven't meant at least something. Because obviously you had a tag title tournament match. You had AEW does everything for a reason. Uh, yeah, WWE doesn't do anything, and that's the sad part because NXT, before they moved to USA, they were doing a lot of great stuff for a reason. Right now, it's just random matches and feuds that people don't know who they are. People don't know how, how eighty percent of those people do. So it's just ridiculous. That's why AEW wins at the end. Yeah, I, I'm enjoying the show a lot more than NXT right now for AEW. If they continue doing this, this is the second week. If they keep up, dude, is going to be bad for the not only NXT but WWE. Hmm. AEW have got a very big hardcore fan base behind them, which is clearly yeah. bigger than the uh, NXT crowd. It is, and uh, but you know, I, I can I see guess. why they're a fresh alternative. The matches are good. The exactly. storytelling's good. Like. The John Moxley moment where he refused to attack Omega when he was down was pure genius. Exactly, it's awesome, bro. It's really awesome. It was really a good show. Uh, I just hope. Okay, I, I, I'm I'm not gonna need pick right now, but if I had to pick one thing that I didn't like, really, actually, I, I did like that. Fuck it. Uh, but I just hope this thing doesn't happen in the coming weeks, and that's uh, brawl at the end of the show because I don't want to see a brawl every every week like that to end the show you know yeah That's I the get, only thing yeah, I have to I say get it other than that the show was great it was now Smackdown let's get back on Smackdown as we mentioned they have dropped 1 million viewers but they did do very well in the adult demographic they still had a very strong rating towards 18 to 49 year olds so it proves that adults are still tuning in which is good yeah but the show was a piss poor show. I'm I'm taking the actual draft parts out of it. Just overall, the show itself was just poor. The only thing I actually liked on the show was Bailey turning full heel. Mhm. That was it. I I found the rest of the show meh at best. I didn't like the show at all. From the beginning, dude, I was in your chat in your stream. I didn't watch the show. I was playing NBA 2K20. I didn't give a fuck about the show. And, uh, I mean, Rollins getting dragged through the ring was a nice thing. I just like yeah. seeing the ring being used like that. Okay, I have something to pinpoint out for the show. Why? Let's use a little bit of logic here. Why is Seth Rollins fighting Roman Reigns? Why is Roman Reigns representing SmackDown if... Universal Champion is, a is a representing Raw. Why is not Brock Lesnar representing SmackDown? I know they don't want to go with that match, but to put Seth Rollins in this situation, you you know Seth Rollins can't lose this match. They knew that. So, for Reigns, if Reigns won, not only would... What? Is he gonna go and say, oh yeah, you know, uh, I won the first pick for SmackDown. That's ridiculous. I beat Seth Rollins. I want my title match. Yeah. You know, so it doesn't make sense what they did. No. We knew it's going to be some interference from Br Bray Wyatt or something. It, it just couldn't end clean, you know? No. But seriously, it doesn't make sense. And uh, the WWE is putting people in that position where just... They can't come out of that. Like, it's ridiculous for some stuff that they're, they're doing. Hmm. Uh, but let's now move on to news and let's cover the draft. Yeah. Uh, right, where is it? Oh, bloody hell. Uh, the list of free agents after SmackDown are Cesaro, Huberto Calero, whatever his fucking name is, Akira Tozawa, mm -hmm. Sin Cara, Eric Young, EC3, Chad Gable, Heath Slater, Drew McIntyre, uh, Drew Gulak. Uh, the B team and Tamina Snooker. They are the free agents, which we'll find out. I assume on Monday they'll tell us who got drafted where. 
I don't like this no. draft at all. I don't care. Like it's it's cringe, bro. It really, I, I I can't imagine having someone else watching for my family or my friends watching this show with me. I will be ashamed, dude, to have that on my television. Like you have all of these people in the boiler rooms, like picking stuff and that kind of. It's cringe. I mean. They popped out for Natalia. Like, what the hell are you popping for for Natalia? Like, you drafted freaking The Rock or someone. I know. Natalia is yeah. meh. But yeah. we do have a list that is potential spoilers. Okay. Because uh, we had a list that was leaked. Uh, that okay, was pretty much the exact kind of list that we got on uh, SmackDown. First off, okay. I do want to address this. Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss are a tag team, aren't they? Yep. Why did Raw draft them separately? You could have had two people for the price of one and got an extra superstar after. Because they're fucking idiots and someone needs to get fired in the back for leaking stuff. Okay, let's go with through this list. Seth Rollins to Raw, no shit. Obviously. Brock Lesnar to SmackDown, no shit. Obviously. Charlotte to Raw. Titus yeah, O'Neil to SmackDown. Yep. Because he's relevant now, isn't he? Yep. Nakamura with Sami Zayn to Raw. Yeah. Alistair Black to Raw. Raw is really mm. looking strong right now. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know. New Day to. S- hmm? Calm down. You know why? Why? Because maybe they want to do Black versus The Fiend. Maybe. <laughs> so I, I, I can't tell you exactly what I think. You know, I don't know. Let's go with... I'm going to go Alistair Black for SmackDown. Maybe. Well, obviously, this list is subject to change. Yeah, it is. Obviously, because they did kind of change it slightly from the list that was leaked last night. Uh, Only very, very slightly. New Day to SmackDown. Mm -hmm. Daniel Bryan, Eric Rowan, and Luke Harper, all different draft picks, but all to Raw. Mm -hmm. Which is... So that... Ending the Daniel Bryan Roman Reigns thing storyline, then. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bailey to SmackDown, no duh. Mister SmackDown, mm-hmm. good pick. Ali to Raw. Mm-hmm. King Corbin to SmackDown. Elias to Raw. Mm-hmm. Rudin Ziggler to Raw. Mm-hmm. Samoa Joe to SmackDown. Yep. Asuka and Kari saying to Raw. Okay. Rusev to SmackDown. Sure, sure. Uh, Cedric Alexander to Raw. Mm-hmm. Mysterio to Raw. Jesus Christ. Uh, this has surprised me, and I'm very annoyed by this fact. R Truth to SmackDown. I'm surprised. Carmella I'm to Raw. I'm annoyed. I'm very annoyed. Why I'm are you breaking off. these two up? They Why? are amazing together. Why? You're breaking up. The greatest professional wrestlers on this planet, dude. How dare you? Exactly. <laughs> uh, also, this is quite interesting. Uh, I'll just do this one first. Uh, Andrade to SmackDown. So he's been broken up from Charlotte. <laughs> I don't think so, bro. I think they will change that up. Uh, maybe. This is obviously yeah. subject to change. Yeah, yeah, uh, like you said. AOP to SmackDown. Heavy yeah. Machinery to Raw. Apollo okay. Crews to Raw, Liv okay. Morgan to Raw, okay. Jinder Mahal to SmackDown. I'm fucking tired. She's still employed. Apparently. Apparently, the clones are still employed. Yeah, they're not in the WWE 2K20, and people were bitching why they're not in WWE 2K20. Who, Who the, the fuck, fuck cares? <laughs> They've not wrestled a match in like months. <laughs> I didn't even know they were still employed. Uh, Buddy Murphy to Raw. Yeah. Uh, Mojo Rawley to Raw. Okay. No Way Jose to SmackDown. Okay. Dana Brooke to Raw. Obviously. Uh, Sultan Benjamin to SmackDown. Mm-hmm. Ryder and Hawkins to Raw. Mm-hmm. The Iconics to Raw. Uh, did I say Liv Morgan? Yes, you did to Raw. I didn't. Uh, yeah, know Sarah Logan alive. to SmackDown. So they're breaking those two up. Idiots. Fire and Desire to Raw. What the fuck is this? Calm down, bro. I gotta tell you something. Like, what the fuck? Why are they breaking up with Morgan? They can have a legit tag team between 
start with Star Logan and live more like why? Why? You can't have two female people like that as a you, you, you're not using any of them. Why are you breaking them up? It doesn't make sense. I know. I know. Good day. Uh, and the last one is Drake Maverick to SmackDown. Yeah. Uh, judging by this list, Raw has got a hell of a lot better deal than SmackDown. Well, it's Monday Night Raw. They need to have the better... If, the, if, the, if this is how they're going to go with it, Raw will be a good show. SmackDown will be piss poor. Because SmackDown have, during this list, fuck all star power. Because you've got people like... Oh, I mean, you've still got The Miz and Samoa Joe, so there's two good people. Yeah. But the rest are like bloody No Way Jose and Shelton Benjamin, Drake dude, Maverick. I'm dude, I'm telling you, they're gonna call up someone from NXT and they're gonna kill kill everyone, dude. I'm yeah. telling you, it's going to happen next year, not right now. Next year, because not because Wins wants someone, but because Fox will request someone, and it's going to happen as well around the problem. Yeah. So I can see Velvet in Dream. I can see Matt Riddle. Not in the spirit of I think they're staying in NXT. But I can see those two moving up. Uh, God rest their souls if that happens, you know. Hmm. Uh, maybe The Undertaker can. Re, maybe he can bring them back to life. But I don't think, bro, if they go to main roster, they're fucked. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm not excited about that. No. Let's just move on to more news because, God, the draft is making me depressed this year. Um, Bray Wyatt and Sasha Banks were reportedly injured after Hell in the Cell, but judging by the fact Bray Wyatt appeared on After Raw and on SmackDown, he appears to be fine. And Sasha Banks. Well, hmm? ladies and gentlemen, The Fiend and Bray Wyatt are not the same people. Yes, they, they are. It's, he's called The Fiend Bray Wyatt. They are the same person. Fucking around. Once in your life, take a joke and go with it. it, it uh, ever. I do not do jokes. Uh, and if, such... a, if, a, if a 10 year old kid wants to believe that, that's fine. But. Okay, continue. Let's hear your opinion first. Uh, with what? With everything you want to say. Uh, and obviously, Sasha Banks was reportedly injured with a back injury, but she is being booked to face Becky Lynch on the first match on Raw to determine the, who gets the first pick, Raw or SmackDown. Great. So she's she, she, I assume she's going to be medically cleared. I don't uh, care if she's going to get medically cleared. She's going to lose, dude. Again. Mm. Or we can see someone start the rivalry with... Uh, Becky Lynch and cost Becky Lynch match. Yeah, maybe. Uh, mm. While we're talking else. about injuries, Samoa Joe uh, has been off to be the television due to a thumb injury, and he's just been waited to be medically cleared. Not a big deal. I hope he gets cleared soon because we I miss Samoa Joe. Mm -hmm. uh, and while we're talking about NXT. Uh, it is reported that they're looking to take NXT on the road next year. And looking at 5,000 seat buildings. Like I said, they're dead. They're fucked. And I'm going to say that until they don't they die. Because they're going to die, dude. Yeah. The people death. And it's going to be sad day when that happens. I know. That's what happens when you let Vince McMahon have the same shit. Yeah. Uh, and if you didn't watch AEW, Jer Chris Jericho will be facing Darby Allin for the AEW Championship. It is now going to be contested in a street fight. Yeah, because that the match guy can't is wrestle to save his life. You say that his match against. I'm joking. I'm joking. I like. I'll him, say I his like... match against Joey Janela was good. I like him. Uh he is. That coffin I drop. Think... It looks like it hurts, and is a goddamn cool move. He is growing on me, dude. I like him. I think uh, 
Yeah, yeah, I do. I couldn't stand him before, but now. No, no. I think because you only saw him, twice. like what, like twice. But yeah. obviously, you're now seeing him on a weekly basis, so you get more used to people and actually start. And where getting... the fuck is Joey Janela? I like Joey Janela. Where did, where is he? Uh, no, was it Joey Janela? Oh no, it was Jimmy Havoc. He faced uh, Joey Janela was in a dark match against John Moxley. Oh, awesome. oh. Something oh. like that. Joey Janela had a dark match for this taping, so it'll be on oh, AEW okay. Dark on Tuesday. Okay, I was thinking maybe that he was uh, fighting with Enzo outside of AEW because <laughs> he doesn't have anything smarter to do, you know? <laughs> I have got to say, I think AEW Dark is a fantastic idea. Yeah, I like well, it. While we're on the record for this, I think it is a brilliant idea because you're going to do dark matches anyway. We all know this. Every time people do dark matches. But to yeah. put them on television, uh, to put them on YouTube and give people more content is it's just great. a brilliant idea because it gives Especially... the wrestlers something to do. They're getting more exposure and the fans are getting some really cool matches that they weren't meant to see. Mm -hmm. So I love the idea. And I haven't checked it out yet, but I will be checking out AEW Dark probably tomorrow night. Probably because I haven't actually got anything planned for tomorrow. Especially, night. it's live when uh, on a day actually when there is no wrestling. So exactly, there's well Tuesday soon about to be NWA Power and TNA Impact. So there's going to be a lot of Tuesday stuff. I mean, are you watching that or no? Uh, I might be watching Impact. I might be adding Impact to the lineup, but I don't think we'll be covering Impact ratings. But we'll have to see if they come out. But I don't think their ratings are ever really I, I impressive anyway. Impact. I don't like input. I don't like input. Or <laughs> I, or I might do NWA Power. I haven't decided yet. It's all up in the air at the minute. Fuck, fuck input, dude. I um, I have a channel that has. Uh, I don't want to bix, but you know, I have more subscribers on one channel than you. And I had a back in the day, about three, four years ago. You know when Broken Matt was a thing and before that yeah. I was covering stuff off of course those videos are not private. I don't I don't have anything on that channel right now. But I was taken down a few times for from for from TNA and uh, so you know it was at, the, at that point I was getting more views their weekly TV show, which it kinda sucks, dude, but uh, just for the reason that they took me down and a few times and you know you want your product to be better you want people to talk about but you're taking those people down and not letting them speak their minds uh that's just something that irritated me dude especially four years three four years ago so hmm. um if you want to talk about impact we can honestly talk on this podcast but uh you know i i just i, I hope they changed because uh same thing is happening with the WWE right now. Um, the, a lot of content creators uh, are getting emails to not use pictures and that kinds of stuff. So, uh, you know, and I know some people who got taken down for no reason because just WWE didn't like their opinion or, so, or something that they were talking about. So, uh, uh, normally it's how it, it goes with WWE. Yeah. Let's continue now. Uh,. Shotzi Blackheart signs with WWE. I don't know who that is. Uh, apparently she's from the independent scene. She worked in companies such as Beyond Wrestling, G GCW Rise and Shimmer. I've heard of Shimmer. Mm. I'm she, and also was a part of Evolve as well. Well, you see, I'm not a big fan of those companies. I mean, I don't know. I never heard of them. I don't know most of them. Yeah. So... But... We'll see. Well, oh, hopefully, should be a good uh, female addition to the NXT roster. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Uh, NXT has the best women's division right now. Yeah, a shame about the championship. Yeah. Hey, speaking of women's division, what do you think about AW and there? I mean, you have real dude. I love her. I think she's cute. I think she is awesome. I think. But man, I don't see her being champion for long. Oh no, definitely not. I... And it's sad because she's talented, but it just her size and everything, it's just not believable. And uh, I'm glad she got that first title, but... Oh, I'm definitely glad. But, you know? They definitely I... will be changing the championship up at some point, but I yeah. don't... But like... 
I'm glad that I, I mean I I'm don't want them to take it off her like next week or anything like that because no. I know she's facing Britt Baker next week for the AEW Championship. Uh, I, we I think we know what's going to happen and Bell Priestley is going to get involved. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely so going to get involved. Well, I think. Can you see title going from real to Bell Priestley from Bell Priestley to Britt Baker? I could definitely see them doing that. Yeah, so that's why I thought. But okay. the idea is I don't want them to flip-flop the belt like that. It never helps a belt. Like, why did Charlotte at Hell in the Cell win the belt to lose it five days later? It doesn't help, but... Like, like Charlotte boasts, I've, I've been champion ten times. None of your title reign, Charlotte, have been meaningful because half of them have been like 16 days or something. Thinking about this, bro... Um, I would love to see kind of decent train from Rio, and I know what you said, and I don't believe that they're going to take title off of her next week. No. But what if she wins and Nyla, Ro Nyla Rose distracts her, and Britt wins, and then Bella attacks Britt, and they set up that title match? I mean, oh, God, no. I can see that happening, dude, but I don't want to see, like, why. If they do that, why would you, at the first place, give Rio a title if you want to do that? They could have went with Britt Baker, you know? And, yeah, I don't know, maybe because they just wanted to promote, like, more Japanese star and more other star because they're pushing American, uh, not American awful, Jesus Christ, uh, private party and those kind of stars. So, you know, I, I, I could honestly see, I don't know, I think she's going to retain next week. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if she loses, though. Mm. You know? Yeah. Hey, the most important thing is is that Britt Baker is in my television, so... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, Dave Meltzer star ratings for Hal in the Cell. You need to do that introduction as wins. Right here, we have... Nope. <clears throat> Just yeah. say Hal in a Cell. Hell in the cell. Okay, that was this. Uh, Natalia versus Lacey Evans. He gave two point two five stars. One star. One point five. Exactly. Match was trash. As always. When uh, it comes to Lacey Evans matches. Yeah, let's not give these women any more attention. Natalia's okay. Bro, next week. Guess what? Natalia versus Lacey Evans again. Oh, for fuck's sake. That is I'm so joking. <laughs> please, uh, oh God, no, please, no. Please. A street fight was okay. That's only because that, that last woman standing, that's only because there was violence. Yeah. Well, and it's harder that. to look bad in a weapons match. Yeah. Uh, Becky versus Sasha got four stars. Ooh, that match is 4.25 for me. I will agree with you. I gave 4.25 for that match. Yeah, 4.25. Exactly. Uh, Daniel and Roman versus Eric and Luke got four stars. I think I gave Ooh, like 3.75. I agree with Meltzer. I really liked that match. It was a good really match. Uh, Ali versus Orton got 3.25 stars. Three stars. Yeah. It would have been better if, the, if Ali had won. It's unfortunate that after that match, everything went downhill. Hmm. Nikki and... Alexa versus the Kabuki Warriors. Still a shit name. 2.25 stars. Uh, I think I gave it like 2.5. 2.5, exactly. I just want to have one to say. Average match. But yeah, uh, one thing about them is that team song for Kairi Sane and Asuka, that's trash, dude. You you picked up Kairi Sane's song and just mixed up with Asuka's. I don't like that. That song mm. is trash. No, it, it was not. They're not. I mean, they're a good tag mm -hmm. team. Just why the stereotypical Japanese name? No, no, no. I mean, for the Steam song. It, it sucks, dude. They're just switching back and forth from Asuka's to Kairi Saints Steam song. It, it's annoying as fuck. Uh, but I like the finish. I like the match. And uh, definitely the right people won because they deserve it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the OC versus Viking Raiders and Braun Strowman gave 1.5 stars. One one point two five, dude. Uh, 
Yeah, I could agree with Malta, 1.5. Okay. Uh, Gable versus Corbin, 1.25. I actually thought this was a good match. Also, 1.25. I think I, I'm going to go with like 2.5, average. Yeah. Wasn't actually that bad of a match. Yeah. I mean, this week was shit because I've seen it too many times now. Yeah. I think we're going to have one match that we're going to disagree huge and you're going to be surprised. Yeah. Let's just continue. Uh, Charlotte versus Bailey, 2.25. I agree. I agree. But uh, just an interesting fact my first minus ever rating I gave to Bailey's Paddy after the match. Because she just looked okay. like a kid throwing the toys out the pram. And I yeah. did not like it one bit. And I gave it minus two stars, I think. Yeah, I guess so, if you say so. <laughs> and then Seth Rollins versus Bray Wyatt. Okay. Okay. Dave Meltzer okay. gave it minus two stars. This is the first minus rating I have seen him give to a match in a very long time. This is the match that me and you are not going to agree on, and there is a huge difference between my opinion and your opinion. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, are ready for this, because the system is going to be shocked. My opinion in ratings for the match is one star. Uh, 3.5 <laughs> uh, But I'm going to say my rating was for everything but the ending uh, The ending, ending is not included in my rating The ending yeah, itself it, You mean the ending is not included because it's so much worse than one, right? Yes Yeah, uh, yeah I give I the next one I agree with Mouser, the ending can get a minus two stars I'm giving one star, dude What, well, even because... for the ending? I feel like they killed Bray Wyatt, dude. I mean, I know they didn't, but he should have won that match. If you knew that he's not going to win, why did you put them in that situation at first? Exactly. Uh, they, they were planning to draft Bray. Why yeah. the hell book him in a fucking title match then? Yeah, uh, and I hate the fact because we had a goddamn Mick Foley jumping off hell in a cell and breaking himself and risking almost dying, dude, and... Referee didn't stop a match. Why is 2019 and you stop a match for something that's... Yeah, the, the referee did originally stop that match. But he came back. Whatever, dude. The match did end. Okay? Mm. Uh, if it's oh, hell, it's hell. Uh, I'm sorry. You can't have DQ. I don't give a fuck. Match what stop match? is not DQ. Okay? Uh, so... but, 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 but while we're on this subject, that was the original finish to Bray Wyatt's match. They were because planning Vince to have him take a bump off the top of the cage, and they stopped the match because of that. And that then, would be even worse then Bryce was going to pop match. up like the Undertaker and take him out with a mandible claw. Yeah, that would be even worse because they will stop a match, uh, and they 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 would stop a match that way, and knowing that fully continued, you know. So, uh, I don't know, bro. I don't like that match at all. I think. Bray Wyatt should have won that match in two minutes, if not two minutes, at least five or ten minutes, but squash. I mean, he should have been demolishing Rollins, dude. And uh, it should be done, like, immediately, just punishing him and just pinning him without Rollins getting any offense with him. Uh, I didn't like curbstones and everything. Uh, are these people even thinking, dude? I understand this is Fiend, but who the fuck is gonna be the Fiend if this guy is kicking out and getting up from everything? Like, they're not thinking about this. No. Curbstone doesn't mean anything right now. You killed Seth Rollins finisher. You basically killed Seth Rollins. Yeah. I'm sorry for yelling. So, uh, in the power but, scale, Bray Wyatt is one hell of a more, more tough opponent than Brock Lesnar in this scale. Yeah. Better than Lesnar. I think they should actually have Bray take the title. Hey, speaking of that, do you think The Fiend is going to interfere in Kane versus Lesnar match? Yes. And you think he's going to take out both of them or just Lesnar? What What do you think may happen? Mm, I think uh, I think you'll take both out because uh, I know for I know Kane Valquez has signed a multi year deal with WWE, and he has retired from UFC. So he is now, in all intents and purposes, a full-time wrestler. Here's an idea for everyone. Have The Fiend interfere and take out both 
have the Fiend win a title in Survivor Series because we don't have any more. Maybe we have Raw versus Smackdown. I don't. Know. Have the Fiend win a title in December then, and have Alistair Black win the Royal Rumble and set up Bray Wyatt versus Alistair Black at WrestleMania for the WWE title. It's like, I think the stupidest thing about Crown Jewel, why we're on Crown Jewel, why is the Universal Champion in a fucking tag match? So you're telling me that we're not going to actually have a Universal title match? It's ridiculous. Uh, it is, it is ridiculous. Uh, I would love to see Bray Wyatt versus uh, Sir Black for title. I think you would love to. Hmm. That would be uh, good. And I think I will build that match with a thing if if Bray Wyatt hits Sister Abigail, it's over. If Alistair Black hits one Black Mass, it's over. So they go into that match like. Whoever hits first finisher, it's over. And you that way, you would protect that finisher so much, dude. Like, that you know just if they hit the finisher, it's over. Yeah. I would love to see that match. I would almost love to see that match. But I don't think WWE will do it. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Anyways, what, what we were talking about. Uh, uh, we now uh, have the update on Tyson Fury. Right now, oh, yeah. he's only planned to have a one ma- have the oh, yeah. one match. Oh yeah, that's the guy who is throwing the punches like a freaking bitch, who who trained with Shane McMahon. Like seriously, dude, this guy was throwing light punches and rock. Yeah, but to Listen. be fair, he is an undefeated heavyweight boxer. If he actually threw proper punches, no. he would knock the fucking hell out of people. Uh, as a boxer, I respect this guy. I like this guy. I love this guy. I appreciate this guy. Whatever is done I know that he probably knows that this stuff is kind of cringe and you know he wanted to work with WWE before yeah but man I didn't like the punches with Strowman and that tending what the fuck was that tending on Raw uh, last week I mean I like it I, I did like it but again dude it was cringe like you had a fuckery finish with Bray Wyatt and Seth Rollins the night before that and you have Raw end with the whole Raw locker room coming out and stopping Strowman and Fury from fighting. Why? Why are you doing that? I don't understand. Neither do I. It's basically just a middle finger to fans. Just let them fight. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think after everything is said and done, Strowman is gonna need to change his uh you know, uh, his catchphrase, get his hands to something else because the guy's gonna get knocked out in five seconds, in my opinion. <laughs> Definitely. But I've also heard apparently the Saudi prince wanted Tyson Fury, so as I am imagining, the Saudi prince just basically went, here's a shitload of money, get Tyson Fury. Here is a shitload of money, get Randy Savage, right? Oh, that's what he wanted. He wanted fucking Yokozuna, Eddie Guerrero. I'm surprised he didn't want China. Jesus. I probably wants China next year. Can, can you get me China? Uh, unfortunately, she's dead. Bro, it's not funny. You know, we're fuck, fucking around about that, but man, it's sad. And I know. they're basically giving WWE money because they're a rich country and uh, they can. Why not? So they don't have they don't have cool about wrestling. But uh yeah i mean there are a lot of passionate fans there and i don't really have anything else people but again i mean prince and just doesn't make sense dude like <laughs> you ask for dusty roads like <laughs> you know does make sense mm-hmm. uh got anything else yeah uh brad hart told kevin nash that he, he can go to hell for whatever reason. Damn. I think we're done with the news segments. Okay, so Kevin, uh, Bret Hart said, uh, what I said last night in Belfast is absolutely true and Kevin Nash can go to hell. Why? God knows. He said, but the Bret Hart's been a miserable bastard since 2000, to be fair. Exactly. I, I know a lot of people would, you know, say, oh, you hit Bert Hart. I don't hate the guy, I just think 
he does stuff that doesn't make sense. And say stuff. So, same with Flair. Flair is a mess good. Oh, Flair is definitely a mess. Thankful we're not getting Ric Flair versus Hulk Hogan rematch because for a second I thought we were gonna get that and I was like, Jesus Christ. But the sad thing is Hulk Hogan wants one more match. What? Yeah, he actually said, I'm talking to Vince, once I've had my back surgery I want one more match. After that match, be sure he's gonna need another surgery. I don't want to see Hogan wrestle because he's old and he's really <laughs> shit. I don't, bro, imagine if they actually booked for real Ric Flair against Hulk Hogan at Crown Jewel again. Fuck that, dude. It'd be awful, imagine if that man. happened. I, I, I think, people, I think you would hear the biggest rant from me in this podcast if that would happen. Yeah, definitely from me as well. Yeah. So, you want to go with stats right now, weekly stats or what? Uh, yeah, let's do our awards. Um, no, I, I don't hear any weird phone calls this week. I think we can continue. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I don't, no, no, no. Wince is not calling. I, uh, we can go, dude. Uh, exactly. No no weird phone calls this week, thank God. You know, hopefully tomorrow, not tomorrow, I mean, usually in this live reviews we have, I don't know what the hell is happening, but we have Kevin Dunn wanting to sabotage our streams, your live stream. I don't know what happened, dude. Especially, you wanted to shove wood in his throats or something. And he said that he already has shot up his ass, so... Uh, I don't know, what the fuck? I don't know, dude. If, you know, if he has something with Vince or... I don't know, dude, but... Uh, hopefully he doesn't call next week or... Uh, on your live stream, because... Goddamn, imagine if the guy takes down your stream, that would suck it. <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah, let's get to the weekly awards. Best show of the week, AEW. By a country mile, to be fair. We already said what what's there to say. Uh, there's not much more. It was just a no, good, really no. good show. Best match goes to the Young Bucks versus Private Party in their tag match because that was a really good tag match and the right yeah. people won. Exactly. And you just know when a show is so great, you just don't have anything to say. Like, wh what can you say if it's great? We don't have any complaints, you know? Hmm. So, obviously, AEW was the show of the week and Private Party versus Young Bucks is the match of the week. Yeah. And best superstar is... Darby Allen, congratulations, Darby! You are the second ever best wrestler of the week. Yep. Because to be fair, you had a great match, and you rode to the ring on a skateboard and then hit somebody with it. That was great. That, that was just like amazing. So yes, good job, mate. Very well earned. Worst show of the week: SmackDown by a country mile. SmackDown live. Was shit. The greatest show. Of the That's week. not Monday Night Raw. SmackDown was horrible. Yeah. Worst match of the week is the repeat Corbin versus Gable from SmackDown because I've seen this match way too many goddamn times. I can't wait until Raw when they announce that they're going to fight again. I think they're on different brands. Oh, I hope I they're on add, different brands. Please add. put them on different fucking brands. Yeah, exactly. uh, and I gotta add one thing. Like, what the fuck is with this Shorty Gable thing? They really changed his name to Shorty Gable and made a Titan drone Shorty Gable. Are this company serious, dude? Is this company. They originally wanted to call him Shorty G. That would be better. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. It's a ball awful. It's horrible. I, I, anyway, it's horrible. So. And I think. Slightly sad to mention, but justified Corbin as worst superstar of the week. At one point, I really liked Corbin. Uh, when he in that finals of the King of the Ring, I think he had a great match with Gable, uh, and uh, I didn't have a problem with him winning. He actually won me over in that tournament. But man, it's back to Queen shit. He got buried by The Rock. King of the Ring doesn't mean shit. The guy is a joke. And it's just sad. Just 
boring matches at this point. And then a bonus award for this week. Best spot of the week. And it, mm. it our best spot of the week goes to Becky and Sasha with Sasha on that chair elevated by kendo sticks and getting drop kicked by Becky. Because that spot never, was just amazing. I've never seen that in my life before. Neither have I. So, you two, a great innovation, great spot. It looked like it hurt like hell for yeah, Sasha. Yeah, do you think maybe at that point there she got banged up a little bit? I think that might be when her back injury occurred. Yeah. But incredible match. They had an incredible match and it was a fantastic spot. So they are our bonus award of the week, which we're not going to do one of these every week, but I had to mention that spot. We have but, originally, originally six awards. Yeah. And but okay, occasionally get there is, Yeah, in case there is something else, we're going to add like a one or two bonus awards. So, uh, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, and by the look of it, that is the podcast. Yeah, it is. We do hope you guys have enjoyed it. Yep. It's been a lot of fun today. Now I need to go and get food because I am very hungry. Exactly. Same thing. Uh, and uh, I can't wait next week. Uh, I mean, 10 days, not next week, 10 days. WWE 2K20 is coming out. Yeah, that's uh, going to be Next week, we're going to get uh, details. We're going to get the gameplay, maybe, or something like that. So I hope so. Uh, yeah, because it sucks, dude. We should already have a gameplay back in September, okay? So, uh, oh, no. Yeah, I like my career this year. I think it's going to be great. I, oh, it looks really good, actually, from the trailer. The originals look really good. Yeah. The game does look like it's going to be a lot of fun to play. It does, and a lot of people say, "Oh, the graphics look like 2005 and PS2." Hey, listen, it's a trailer. They're not going to be the released exactly. graphics. And we know another this. thing is, when you watch stuff on YouTube, it's compressed. Video is compressed, it loses quality, and all the stuff they're trying to hide. So, of course, they're not they're not going to show exactly how graphics look. You can look at my career trailer and. Uh, WB gameplay trailer. The graphic looks great. I think so. So that's not big because I know a lot of people are saying for graphics. Dude, that graphic on entrances, it's not going to be a same like your graphic on PC or consoles because mm. it's not compressed. It's a pure ten eighty or four K, whatever you're playing. You've you also know? got to remember the consoles that this is gonna be running on are at the end of their life. So, of course, it's not going to look amazingly fantastic because the hardware is old now. This hardware is six, six years old at this point. But they're using the same engine, so... Exactly, they're using the same engine on six-year-old hardware. I of think... course, the graphics aren't going to get much better because yeah, I... yeah, you can't think... do much with an old graphics engine and an old console. Like, yeah, I, I think the, gra the graphic is maybe even better than 2K19. A little bit better, not that much, but ju just yeah, the like colors. Lana doesn't look shit this year, at least. Yeah, listen, just the colors, that kind of stuff, are better. But I think the people why they don't see a difference, like you said, there. And uh, when you see other games, it looks better because they use different engine. They don't use the same uh, engine that Visual Concepts in 2K is using. So. Um, you just think it's bad because there are new games who look better. That's the reason why. Better. It's a completely different when, kind of game for any new games. Yeah, when you didn't have the games who had better graphics last year or two years ago, you wouldn't say the graphics were bad, okay? So that's the only reason why you're saying that. Um, yeah. Universe mode, uh, I wish they added only one thing. I don't need anything else, I know. They didn't do anything for Universe Mode a lot, uh, but the only thing I wish they added was a calendar. I, I want to see a year. I want to see 2020, 2021. I don't understand why that's not in the game. Really mm, I'm not really a fan of Universe Mode. Bring back GM Mode. Yeah. Um, I much prefer GM Mode. I'm looking forward towards uh, Tokyo Originals. Um, 
I think it's going to be awesome. And in the, my career, uh, I have the deluxe version, so I'm getting everything. You have a console, so you got the 20th anniversary SmackDown edition, right? Yep. And uh, there is something for my career that's called Beyond the Car. Huh. I don't know if you read that. There uh, is apparently Beyond the Car that you're going to get at some point in my career. I don't know if that's something with two originals or if Matt Hardy gives you that or The Undertaker or something happens. I don't know. But that's fucking cool. I got to tell you, I got to give it to 2K. A lot of people hate it, but uh, they do, you know, in a year you can change a lot. So I appreciate small changes, you know. So do I. I can't yep. wait to see what uh, 2K 2021 is going to be like. Whether it will be released on the new PS5 is a debate. Because obviously the console is coming out November 2020. 2020. So I whether say, they'll start developing this one for the new console, because I assume they've they've already got dev kits and everything for the yeah, console. I I um I uh listen, I I would not release the game next year in October. I would wait after WrestleMania. After WrestleMania thirty what WrestleMania thirty six we have no that's I have no idea at this point. I've lost track of what WrestleMania. You know what I mean before. in twenty twenty wait, when is PS4 coming out in 2020. PS5 is coming out in November 2020, which is next year. Yeah, so I think if you do that, you release the game uh, in November or just simply wait after WrestleMania in 2021. Uh, because mm. you don't need to rush, dude. Like, it's better to have everything, great graphics and everything, than... Not having than having the same universe mode because people are gonna expect GM mode and that kind of stuff, and you will have more time to, you know, put your mind to that and do something better for people that they want. But yeah. I honestly think uh, this year 2K is gonna surprise us, and I think this is going to be like since 2000 2K15. I think this is going to be one of the best 2K games. Uh, that it definitely looks like it's gonna be the most fun to play out of all of the 2K games. Yeah, uh, I thought 2K16 was great. Um, after that, everything like kind of fell down. But uh, yeah, 2K19 and 18 were okay. But 2K16 was great. I don't know if you remember 2K16. I, I preferred was... 2K14. I thought that was amazing. Yeah, I just think 2K16 because it was a huge jump from 2K15. So 2K16. Yeah, was... it definitely was probably one of the best they made. Yeah, and uh, 2K17 sucks bollocks, and so did 2K15. Yeah, a lot of people say oh, 2K17 is the one of the best. Shut up. 2K17 will wank. It's the same game like 2K19, basically. Uh, yeah, we'll see. It was a great chatting about this game because we honestly we didn't have a lot to talk about other than a few news, you know. Exactly, so, we managed to drag this out to an hour. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, that's it. I don't have anything else to say. Whoever pre-ordered the game, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you can pre-order it on Steam, right? Uh, on For consoles or whatever, yeah. you know. But uh, uh, Make sure you check out my yeah. channel uh, on the day of release to my Request Your Match live stream where you can come in and request matches and I will play them. Yeah, sure. I Obviously. actually requ <laughs> I requested one match, even if I'm getting the game because hey why not let's give Tom something because whatever dude like of course I'm gonna see a match why not because the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna stream and uh, yeah I'm not even gonna do anything else on the game apart from unlock all the DLC and all the characters and shit that's the first thing I'm doing because you'll get the like unlocker thing exactly the, the deluxe uh, the so just accelerator. everything yeah, I always okay, unlock everything. Yeah. First thing I do when I get the game, because... I don't know why the fuck would someone try to unlock those. Why would someone wait? Ridiculous. Mm, I only do it because I do the streams. So I, I kind of have to have all characters unlocked. Yeah, but it's funny because, bro, you need only two seconds to unlock everything. And there are people who are busting their ass for five, six months trying to unlock everything. Uh... So... That's kind of ridiculous, but... That's what you get um, when you buy the standard edition. 
Yeah, standard edition edition sucks. I gotta say that. Yeah, it really does. It really does. Uh, yeah, man. Listen, if you're buying 2K, go for deluxe. Or if you have, like I said, if you have console, go with. If you have money, because not everyone is gonna be able to afford SmackDown 20 Anniversary Edition. Oh, definitely not everybody. But yeah, you in the looks you have everything. You have everything that you have in that. Especially if you're on PC and I just and I did check in the looks you also have two two hundred dollars uh the rock t shirt and you have China, so you're it's safe bet to go with that uh, if you can't afford a SmackDown twenty to anniversary. Yeah. That's it. That's it for uh this week and uh, we had a great podcast even if it was short, we didn't have a lot of news to talk about. Uh, it's been an hour, so I think it's been a decent time. Yeah, and uh, Tom will obviously review shows after uh, they're done. You know, Raw, SmackDown, AW. NXT. So NXT uh, was just that bad this week. I refuse yeah. to review it. Also, I was sick of watching the show by the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, I cannot torture myself by talking about NXT anymore. Yeah, and uh, pretty much that's it. That's right. it for Thank us. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and we shall catch you all later. Bye-bye. You're fired! God damn it.